Hello everyone, welcome to the introduction to Revenue Lifecycle Management, also known as Revenue Cloud Advanced. My name is Tim, the head of Revenue Cloud Practice here at Demand Blue, and as part of the series, I would like to do a deep dive on all things Revenue Lifecycle Management, including how it's set up, implementation strategies, as well as just overviewing the features and functionalities that this new product provides. As we go through the series, we'll be touching on more videos uh, as well as more components of the Salesforce RLM product. So stay in touch and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so for all the newest updates. The first question we ask here is, what is Revenue Cloud Advanced? Revenue Cloud Advanced is Salesforce's next iteration of the Configure Price Quote solution. It is a unified platform for the quote to revenue lifecycle and combines the best of Salesforce CPQ and industry CPQ, both of which are acquisitions from Salesforce, uh, into a new fully composable, scalable, and API-first architecture. It is also built on core platform, meaning no more install packages or any additional upgrades needed. Everything comes with the release. And looking at the revenue cloud system broken down, we can see there are catalogs, CPQ, contracts, orders, assets, and billing, each of which have subcomponents underneath. Let's dive into each one. So let's start off with the product catalog manager. Uh, from your app launcher, you can find product catalog management uh, on the list of apps. This will bring you to a homepage in which you can see all the basic uh, uh, things that you can set up within the PCM. From here, you can browse your catalogs, uh, browse your products uh, and attributes at the same time. So let me visit the catalogs to start with. Within each catalog, uh, think of this as the top level of your hierarchy. So each catalog can encapsulate a list of products that match that particular catalog service. And each catalog is quite flexible in its nature. Uh, you can define a name, you can define a, a descriptive code, and of course, a description uh, on what this entails. You can also set effective start and end dates. And this will mean that this catalog will be available use during the effective and start dates. You can also set types. Uh, as to your desire, and these are just pick lists within the system. Within each catalog, there are also what's called categories. Categories are a list of items or uh, categorizations, put it this way, um, of products within your system. So think of this as the second level of what we have here. So within my hardware catalog, I may have something like laptops, desktops, and accessories. And underneath each one, uh, within each category here, we have a related list of products that I have assigned to each category. A product looks very similar to what we have in Sales Cloud and CPQ. You have ability to define the product name, the product code, uh, whether or not it's configurable, whether or not it is a bundle, and at the same time, you can also define attributes for a product. Attributes are reusable components which have a certain pick list of values associated with them. So for example, if you are selling laptops, you may uh, have the user define which types of graphic card they need, which memory they need, processor, and etc. You can add new attributes. You can also reuse these attributes for other products, which means that going forward, you have the ability to set it once and reuse those components for other similar products. You can also configure bundles, and these will be designated by the product type of bundles. And within bundles, there is a structure element to it. So you will have your uh, header level basic bundle, which encapsulates a number of products within. And within each one of these nodes represents the product that you may have as a part of this bundle. So I could have a laptop and in my laptop basic bundle, and also a computer protection such as an antivirus within this laptop basic bundle. This gives me the option to sell these products in tandem and together. And like we said before, allows you for additional calculations and pricing options when we are selling these products within a bundle. Within the quote object, uh, we can now uh, have an option to browse catalog. Under browse catalog, you will see a list of all your catalogs that we have set up. In this case, I can select the catalog I want. And then underneath, it will load up all the products that I set up for each category. So in this case, I would like to quote my laptop, select the laptop. I can configure it using this wrench icon if I so desire. 
Clicking the wrench icon brings up what we had before as the attributes. So in this case, I can define what my display is, my graphics card, if it applies, memory, processor, storage, and support, each of which corresponds to the uh, attributes that I had set up. And underneath each one, uh, I can choose from my attribute pick lists, the various options that are available. And with that, uh, this will allow you to update the prices. Update the pricing uh, will take the attributes that have uh, been uh, configured and use that to run through the pricing recipe and provide me with a total price. So I'll save here. This has been configured. Now we'll add it to the quote. All right, and then click save. The configuration will save to the quote. Now you should see a new line for laptop. So that was a quick introduction to Revenue Lifecycle Management and Revenue Cloud Advanced. Uh, in future videos, we'll dive into more of the Product Catalog Manager, as well as Product Configurator, Bundles, Salesforce Pricing, Dynamic Revenue Orchestration, Salesforce Contracts, and Invoicing and Billing. So stay in touch with Demand Blue, and I hope to see you in the next one.